The Walking Dead Season 11 Episode 12, if you haven't seen it, spoilers ahead. So Max, I generally don't understand why you're upset. She was in the room saying, yeah Eugene, you were being rude to me. As if Eugene did not legit get catfished. And then she was saying stuff like, how did you not know it was me? Why would you expect him to know that just based off of a couple of conversations? But I guess you guys are cute or whatever. After this episode, Maggie legit has all of my respect for the way she's handling the Commonwealth. I feel like she's really the only person who's going at it carefully. And who's like, yeah, the Commonwealth looks good and all, but we've seen stuff like this in the past and it didn't go good. Both the Anna references in this episode hit different. Just seeing all the characters say, yeah, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for her because she let us in was crazy. The throwbacks. And I also highly respect her for making her own decision and going to the Commonwealth. Because of everything we've seen her survive, she deserves that time to rest and chill. We see in this episode that Mercer and Daryl start to develop somewhat of a bond, and Mercer was basically trying to warn Daryl that the Commonwealth is not what it looks like, as we're starting to figure out. This episode also served to humanize the leader of the Commonwealth. I actually think she's a generally good person who cares about her people. Does she run a very tight ship? Yes. I 100% believe that this guy is solely the villain. He comes off as being so crazy, like he's always smiling. As this episode basically told us that his plans lie outside of the Commonwealth. He's basically trying to be a leader of Alexandria, Hilltop, and Oceanside. And Carol was really speaking facts to King Zeke in this episode. He was like, we're living in a broken system, so you might as well take the one up. And I'm glad he took her advice. And I love the fact also we got a scene between Eugene and Rosita. For the past few seasons, it feels like their friendship has been put on the back burner. I'm glad we're getting more of those moments. What is happening with Lydia? 